All right, so Aquarius, you have blessed and a change in a change in the wind. So I feel like you're making big changes in your life or hoping to, and I feel like you're really trying to. <sighs> Things could be changing out of your control, but it's a blessed change, okay? You could be starting to feel blessed, all right? Things are starting to go in your favor. You're starting to feel good about everything. Um, your person has breathe and yin. So yin is like the yin to the yang, all right? This aspect of it is that feminine side, the loving, caring, nurturing, side to it okay so I feel like male or female doesn't matter we all have masculine and feminine I feel like your person is really trying to go within um they could possibly be doing some like meditation or trying to get clear on things and understand things or see what they're not seeing and following intuition all right um underlying energy is message in a bottle so you could uh, receive a message from this person or you could be sending a message to them, but there could be some kind of communication going on um, or will be soon. All right, let's get into it. Current energies, page of wands. So there could be an age difference between the two of you. Um, doesn't have to be. Page of wands kind of is like what I just said. Your person's like going within, trying to follow their intuition, trying to gain some kind of clarity, perspective. Um, five of pentacles. So your person could be feeling left out in the cold, abandoned, left hanging. <sighs> what else? Current energies, current energies. And Aquarius, keep in mind, it is a general reading. So the energies can be flip-flopped and reversed. So I could be talking about your person, but it could be your energy, okay? The magician trying to manifest, manipulate. Let's see what comes out after that. Oh, well, they have a broken heart. And then we have the moon, Cancer, Pisces energy, strength, Leo energy, and two of wands. So, Aquarius, I feel like your person is, they're feeling left out, heartbroken, abandoned, so I feel like they're trying to manifest you back, possibly. If you decided to leave this person for a change, you needed a change, whatever it was calling to you, this person's like upset and brokenhearted that you did that. Uh, the moon, strength, and two of wands. They're trying to gain some courage they're trying to gain some courage to make a decision here. There's something mysterious or hidden or... Something could have happened around the full moon. We have the new moon tonight when you're when you're watching this. It's not, I'm not recording it on the new moon, but we do have a new moon when this video launches. So there could be something happening there. There could be secrets coming out or something that's hidden. Huh. Let's see, what are the blockages? Blockages. Blockages for Aquarius's person or this situation. Eight of Pentacles. You guys could work together for some of you. You don't have to. Um, maybe it wasn't equal give and take your, your person wasn't putting in the work and effort into this connection so you kind of were like uh, i give up or maybe somebody was more focused on work than relationships ten of wands there was a big burden here in this connection why what is that burden finances money stability That could have been a big burden here, having the stability. King of Cups and Nine of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Are you dealing with a, a water sign? If not, a water sign could have gotten in the middle of this uh, connection here. There could have been a third party situation. 
Um, however, I do feel like there could have been maybe overindulging, drinking, addiction, too much sex, too much shopping, spending, whatever, okay? Um, that was blocking this connection from becoming stable. There could have been jealousy, possessiveness, uh, over-emotional, emotional outbursts, accusations, things like that going on. Like insecurities being brought to light, projecting that. And you may have been like, you know what, it's, I can't handle that anymore. It's, I need a change. It was a, it was a heavy burden. So what else is being blocked? The High Priestess, Scorpio, Pisces energy, Karma, which is Judgment card, Scorpio energy, and Six of Cups, which is that fun, youthful, playful energy, but also nostalgia, reminiscing, looking back at old pictures, going through old memories, um, may have known each other since childhood, um, or, or being friends. I feel like a reconciliation is, is not on the table right now. And I feel like Aquarius, that's your, your judgment call. Because from the overall energies here, I feel like you want a change. You want something different. There could be something from the past that came back into your life and that is looking more appealing to you hmm. let's see how do they feel about you how does this person feel about you eight of wands they want to talk to you aquarius this person wants to communicate to move things forward the shadow side, devil card, Capricorn energy. There definitely could have been some kind of an addiction or overindulgence going on here. This person could be obsessed with you. This person could be feeling that strong chained bond to you like they can't let you go. How else do they feel about Aquarius? Ten of Swords, Six of Pentacles, the Chariot, and the Empress. All right. They know that they, they caused betrayal, backstabbing, pain. There could have been a painful ending between the two of you. I feel like they see you, Aquarius, as very balanced, equal give and take, but I feel like they didn't hold up their end of the bargain here. Um, they could feel like you're breadcrumbing them or they're breadcrumbing you. Or just that you, you, you are a very giving person. And they weren't. Because I feel like they weren't putting in the same work and effort that you were putting into, into this connection. Then we have the Empress, Taurus energy, and the Chariot, Cancerian energy. They see you as the Empress, male or female, it doesn't matter. They see you as very loving, caring, nurturing, abundant, fertile, all of that. You might be the parent to their children, if that's the case. Or they may want to have children with you, or they see that you want to start a family and this situation just wasn't allowing for that. So now you're moving on. The chariot. They see you moving on. Again, you guys, keep in mind, this could be reversed. You could be seeing them move on and relating to all this stuff, okay? How else do they feel? How else do they feel about Aquarius? Three of Pentacles and the Lovers, Gemini Energy and the High Priest and the Two of Cups and the Ace of Cups. 
Oh, this person loves you, Aquarius. They feel that soulmate bond. You guys could maybe already be married or in a, a strong, committed relationship. If not, they want that with you. I feel like they want to choose you and you choose them. And that Three of Pentacles is bringing thoughts, ideas, visualizations into reality and building that as a team. So working together, collaborating, building as a team, creating something in the 3D. I feel like this person wants to build with you. They see you as a hard worker. They see all your potential, but they, they screwed up something. I, I, I'm kind of just feeling like maybe this was an addiction thing where you just couldn't take it anymore and you were their stability, you were their safe spot. Either that or like you're just so tempting to them or they just feel so bound to you. Hmm. All right, let's see. Potential outcome. Potential outcome. Keep in mind, you have free will, so it can change. We have the Wheel of Fortune, Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Page of Wands. Again, the Page of Wands. Could be dealing with a, a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. You don't have to be. Let me get a couple more. I feel it. So I feel like things are going to move forward here. What else? Potential outcome. King of Cups. So now we have Queen of Pentacles, King of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. You may have an option here, Aquarius. You may. You may have three options, King of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, and Two of Wands. Yeah, you have a decision to make, Aquarius, because you have other people surrounding you. I feel like you have one that's this person and possibly two others to choose from. You need to make a decision here. I feel like that page of wands is saying either there is an age difference going on here, an age gap, or you could be getting like those sparks, those ideas, those intuitive hits. Um, and it's like you need to follow your intuition with that and make this decision. If it's them, they need to make the decision. There's that devil again, Capricorn energy. the world yeah there's a cycle that needs to close out here so something new can start even if it's with this person like a cycle needs to close a lesson needs to be learned so that way you can move on from it divine timing temperance sagittarius energy aquarius you may want a family a marriage, long-term, family, stability, the forever thing. And I feel like you stress out about that. The divine is working with you, all right? I, I feel like they're saying have some patience. Close out the cycles that need to be closed out. Maybe take time for yourself. Reflect, go within, do the work. And a new cycle will start. This could speak of maybe you need to move somewhere or travel. But I feel like the divine is here with you, guiding you, helping you. And I feel like you do have choices. Because a potential outcome, you, you have people here. Earth, water, and fire. And you know what I feel? I'm just going to hear me out here. So let's just say this is your person in this story here, okay? This is you. You have your back turned. And you're looking at somebody else. Male or female, you guys, doesn't matter. I'm just saying look at, like, the image of the people, okay? 
this is the person in the story. This is you. This is the new person. I feel like you have your back turned towards this and you're looking at somebody else. And there's a decision that was sitting right in between this. So I feel like you have a decision to make here. If you haven't met this person yet, but you just feel called to go in a whole different direction, you might have somebody coming towards you. And the universe is trying to nudge you in that direction. All right. Um, biggest obstacle for Aquarius. Biggest obstacle. No, nope, that's too many. We'll take this one though. Beyond illusion. So seeing things for what it is, facing the truth, um, things that could be hidden may come to light. See the reality of the situation. All right. Moment to moment. Yeah, go with the flow. Live in the moment. Don't force anything. Just let everything unfold how it should. The universe is trying to guide you and help you. So live in the moment. See through delusions, illusions. Find the reality in this situation, the truth of the matter. You're very good at that, Aquarius. Getting to the truth of the matter. Possibilities. So you have options. You have possibilities. Doors opening. Things are coming to you that are blessed. All right? So accept it. Go with the flow here. All right, what else? What other messages for Aquarius do we have? What other messages? Surrender. Yep. Detach, trust, free fall, have faith that all will be well. Sacred journey. Understand who you truly are. This journey brings you self-discovery and solitude. Retreat, introspection, silence. Go deep within yourself. Yeah. Reflect. Get to the truth of the matter. You know, find yourself again. Karmic partner. I do feel this was a karmic. There was a lesson to be learned here. There was a lesson to be learned here. Masculine, your divine masculine, your twin or soulmate is seeking you unawakened, un unaware, 3D ego darkness. Your twin flame is not ready yet. This is your twin flame. They're not, they weren't ready. They weren't ready. Winter, you feel out in the cold. Your answers arrive in the winter and then twin flames wanted to come out. Eternal love, reincarnation, passion, twin seeking union. You have somebody else coming towards you, and I feel like that is that true soul bond. This last person, I just feel like you're you're over it with them. Because reconciliation is being blocked here. I just feel like you, you're closing this cycle out to start something new with somebody else, possibly in a different location. You might even be making a move. All right. Twin flames again. Yep. Yin, yang, zen, balance, union, duality, coupling, complementing each other. So real quick, we all have multiple soulmates, multiple twin flames, multiple karmics, all right? They all come into our life. Some stay, some are here for a short period of time, some are here to teach us lessons, and some are just to be friends or coworkers or and whatnot. So you have many, all right? I do feel like you're leaving a karmic twin flame connection to attract like a soulmate twin flame connection. Okay. Uh, Grim Reaper, the relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. Stabbed in the back, heartbreak, pain, separation, dece deception, shocking attack, and then healing heart, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. I'm telling you there's something that was going on here with that. And then I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming. Fun, flirty, wait, for, uh, blah, blah, blah. fun, flirting, waiting to date. You have somebody coming towards you. So, all right. What would this person like to say? I miss your beautiful smile and joyous laugh. They used to light up my world. My memories, my memories of you haunt me and keep me thinking about what could have been. Yeah, they're definitely thinking about you. 
I still see your smiling face in my mind's eye. We were too different. That's why I'm with someone similar to me. That could be what you're saying or vice versa. All right, Aquarius. That is what I have for you this week.